Aloha, heads, heads, Frank here, and it is time for the Frank Show. Now, I was reading a wonderful article the other day by Tom Ball about the history of virtual reality, and I thought I should share it with you, except in a video format. So, without any further ado, I present to you a brief history of virtual reality. Now, it may seem like virtual reality is just starting off, but don't let it fool you. It has been around for years and years, starting back in the 19th century with panoramic fa- paintings, where artists would create the illusion that we were present in the image with large, widescreen formatted paintings. Move forward to 1838, when Charles Wheatson invents the stereoscopic photos and viewers. Now, this was the first time that a person could view images in what would be 3D or to a certain degree virtual reality kind of starting an idea of virtual tourism. This is basically the original Viewmaster, which all of us had when we were children. And in 1929, Edward Link invented the Link Trainer. Now this was the first true flight simulator that was used during World War II by over 500,000 pilots for their beginning training and just to kind of hone their skills. Then in the 1930s, Stanley Weinbaum wrote the classic Pygmalion Spectacles, where a man has virtual reality goggles that can bring him into another fictional world. Now, this was really the first mention or thought of this true concept of virtual reality in writing. Move forward to the 1950s and cinematographer Morton Heilig invents the Sensorama. Now, this was more than just a video experience. You'd stick your head in, you would smell it, you would hear it. It was truly the first extremely immersive cinema, and although he shot and made pretty much all the films by himself, it was the the start of something much bigger. Then in 1961, our concept of virtual reality was born by the Philco Corporation engineers, Kamu and Brian. Now, these gentlemen created Headsight, and it wasn't even thought to have virtual reality in mind. It was supposed to be used by the military to view places naturally that one could not normally be. Now, it allowed you to put on goggles and had a camera that was tracking the way you were looking through the goggles, and you could see through the camera's eyes. Then in 1961, Ivan Sutherland and Bob Sproul created the first VR head-mounted display that was actually connected to a computer and not just connected to another camera. Now, this thing was extremely primitive and required you to be hooked up to a giant system inside a room, but even though the graphics were limited, it was the first true form of PC VR. Then in 1987, the name was coined and born by Jaron Lehner, founder of the Visual Programming Lab, which gave us the name Virtual Reality to describe all of the research that he had been working on and it had stuck ever since. Move forward through the 90s, we see VR arcades, Lawnmower Man, Sega VR glasses, Nintendo VR, The Matrix, and fast forward to April 2012 when Lucky Palmer announces Rift, a virtual reality headset, and raises over $2.4 million on Kickstarter. Now that spawned a revolution that has given us our beloved PlayStation VR, HTC Vive, and soon to be here Windows Mixed Reality headsets, along with tons of others such as the Pimax. Now, I am extremely excited for the future of VR, but we can't forget where we've come from, and let this stand as a reminder to everybody that tells you VR is going to fail, because it has failed tons of times already, and it just keeps pressing forward. We're finally reaching that critical mass, and I, for one, am extremely excited. Alright, now do me a favor and share that one with all of those haters out there because as you now know, VR is not just something new, it's finally something making it. Now, thank you all for coming through, you're beautiful, you're amazing, if this is your first time on the channel, we do videos like this all the time and I hope you consider hanging out and joining. Now hit that thumbs up if you liked it, but you, you don't have to do that. More importantly, what I'd like you to do is that if you want to stay up to date on everything PlayStation VR and 
don't mind this ugly mug. Freaking subscribe. I mean, come on. Also, check it out. I got a, I got a new microphone. It's fancy with a little pack. <laughs>